Okay, my name is Jesus San Miguel. I'm a director of clinical and translational medicine at the University of Navarra in Spain. And it is my pleasure just to discuss with you about uh, an astra that we presented on sustained MRD in two phase three trials designed for non-transplant eligible patients. These are the Alcyon trial and the Maya trial based on two standards of care, VMP and Lendex, Voltesomib, Melphalan, Prednisone, and Lenalidomide, Dexamethasone, plus minus Daratumumab. These two important trials that has been published in England Journal of Medicine, and well, I mean, you know all the data. Now, in this presentation, we focus on the impact of MRD negativity. Approximately, 28% of the patient on intention to treat, including all patients, 28% of the patients in the experimental arms, in both arms, DARA VMP and DARA RD, achieve an MRD negative status versus only 7-9% in the control arms of these two studies. Sustained MRD negativity was observed in the data arms of both studies in approximately 15% of the patients versus only 4% of the patients at six months. And at 12 months, sustained MRD negativity was observed in 14 and 10% of the patients in the Alcyon and Maya study respectively in the experimental arm, in the DAR arm, compared to only 2.5% of the patients that receive the standard of care, BMP or Lendex, RD. Is thus, does this different in MRD negative rate and sustained, particularly sustained MRD negative rate has an impact in the outcome? Yes, there is impressive impact in the outcome. And in fact, it has a ratio comparing the MRD negative patients versus the MRD positive patients reached 10 point to 0.19. And let me emphasize that the impact of achieving MRD negativity is important, but it's even more important as expected if you sustain the MRD negative rate at six months and even more if you sustain at 12 months. And this is independent in the trial of the trial. In both trials, exactly parallel results. And in fact, if you combine both the studies, the outcome of the patients that remain MRD negative is on the top. If the patients have achieved MRD negative neg negativity, but lose the MRD negativity, have an intermediate outcome and those that never achieve MRT negativity has a very poor outcome. In other words, these two very important studies reinforce the predictive value of achieving MRT negativity and what is more important to sustain MRT. And this also is relevant because the rate of MRT negativity was increasing over the time. And this demonstrates that myeloma patients need prolonged treatment. 